So good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Joseph. Uh, I'll be introducing uh, our uh, work we have done for the Ethereum Foundation. Uh, sorry a little bit about my, my voice after all, all these uh, amazing uh, events uh, and parties. I'm a little bit, <laughs> little bit sick, but uh, I'm really enjoying the conference. Uh, so briefly, uh, who we are, we are called Eki. Uh, some, some of the guys think that we are, we are a startup, so that's why I always uh, present it a little bit. Uh, uh, what, what we, are, we are basically a software house here from Prague. Uh, and uh, we develop mobile apps. This is what we what we do for a living. Uh, we also have office in Berlin, and we are quite uh, quite big nowadays. We have over 50 team members, and uh, usually we, we develop mobile apps. But uh, uh, blockchain for us is uh, basically uh, another type of a backend. So uh, so uh, that's why we came to contact with uh, with it, and then we really lacked some tools that we could use. Uh, in order to deliver uh, mobile apps as we are as we are used to, so uh, that's how this project uh, came up. Uh, our usual projects are something like this. Uh, now we are working on mobile app for German Parliament, uh, which will be launched in about a month. But lately, we have been working on a lot of projects uh, in blockchain, and I believe blockchain is one big word. So uh, there's no competition between each other. So the same thing we do for Ethereum Foundation. We do also for uh, Tezos Commons Foundation, where we are helping them to deliver the developer tools uh, they would need uh, to complete their ecosystem. And we also have one funny app that we have created during a hackathon. Uh, and it's a quite typical use case, because as I was here at Monday, uh, the other uh, Plasma Talks have as a use case also rock, uh, paper, scissors app. So it's like typical blockchain app. Uh, what we did is that we uh, we have created some kind of app where you can bet uh, kin tokens, which is another, another currency running partly on Ethereum, partly on Stellar. And this is going to uh, to get to uh, Android store in about uh, two weeks. But I guess you are here because of this, uh, which is uh, the project uh, that we get a grant for Ethereum Foundation. And it's basically a set of tools or a dev kit uh, to uh, allow uh, smooth development on iOS. So what is it? Uh, it or maybe uh, before I begin uh, the question, uh, could you raise your hands who of you is iOS developer? All right. And blockchain developers? OK. So th these two groups sometimes overlap, as I've seen. But most common use case is that they don't overlap. So basically, when there is a startup or or company that wants to develop a mobile app that works with Ethereum blockchain, they they have iOS developers who never work with blockchain. And for them, uh, parsing the FreeJS interface is just nightmare. And understanding how the smart contracts work is basically they, they don't want to do it. And it's it's reasonable. That's not like their uh, their typical work. On the other side, uh, blockchain developers, they don't know how to create iOS mobile apps. So this is, for me, something like a motivation to create a dev kit which will, uh, which will uh, help uh, both sides to uh, be able to work on this technology. Uh, so what does it consist of? Uh, there are basically three sub-projects that it relies on. And the first one is uh, something we call MVVM project template. I will introduce it in uh, another slide. Uh, then there are low-level communication libraries, and there's a code gen, which is the most interesting uh, part, I guess. So uh, the first part, uh, this is something that when we had a talks with Ethereum Foundation, they were really excited about it. So we made it a part of the dev kit, but it's not uh, it's not a mandatory to use. Uh, basically, as I told, we are an agency that develops mobile apps, which means we start a new app project about every month. And for this reason, we have internally created some kind of project skeleton template, which helps us to uh, start the projects really quickly, because most of the mobile apps have something in, in common. And what do they have in common in our case is the architecture. Uh, we are big fans of model view view model architecture. And uh, this uh, skeleton, we have made it an open source. So it's, it's open sourced on, uh, on our GitHub. You can see the link uh, down there. And, uh, one of the one of the key key things is that uh, we don't really like uh, storyboards, so this helps us to define uh, the flow between single 
uh, single views uh, as a code. And uh, also there are small things like uh, switching uh, between single environments, I mean like stage production and, and so on. So this is all handled by the, by the uh, project template. Uh, I will say that we are not saying that this is the right way how to develop iOS apps, but this is the way that works for us. And you are more welcome to try it, to use it uh, as well. The motivation, like I said, in our case is that we are able to start a new project really quickly and onboard, for example, new programmers uh, to our tech stack really quickly as well. So it's been, it's been open sourced and you can, you can try it. Uh, the, the second part of uh, the dev kit uh, is something uh, we call low-level communication libraries. And this is usually the dev kit. And we didn't uh, do this part because that was done by another grantee uh, eater kit. Uh, we just uh, coordinated with them our work and it was, uh, I think, a very good cooperation. Uh, so basically we built on this tool. What does this, uh, this, uh, this tool or library, what does it do? It does all the stuff like uh, handling uh, transactions, so you don't have to parse the web free JS uh, uh, manually and things like this. Uh, it has a wallet in it. So this is like the basics uh, you need in uh, your uh, IOS app in order to communicate with the, with the blockchain. So we call it low level tools. And what we have done next is that we have created a code generator, as we call it. And uh, this part basically, uh, has as an input uh, ABI of uh, Ethereum smart contract and uh, as, as, as output there comes uh, Swift code out of it. So it's basically a generator of Swift, Swift code. Uh, with uh, this approach uh, programmers can natively call the functions of the smart contracts from Swift and uh, the calls are type safe and it also has all the uh, covers our edge cases, edge cases like uh, parsing different Ethereum types to uh, Swift types. Uh, so basically, uh, from the developer point of view, it's something like an SDK. Uh, and this SDK is created custom for each smart contract, which means in this case, if uh, your project has, uh, I don't know, in your team you have iOS developers, and you provide them with a link on this, uh, on this, uh, this iOS dev kit, uh, then they basically just run it over the existing smart contract and as an output uh, they have uh, all the source code they need to communicate with the smart contracts. So they, the, the iOS developers in that case uh, don't really need to deeply understand, uh, understand the blockchain uh, and they also don't need to do the annoying work with parsing all, all the low-level stuff because this, this code gen has of course included as an dependency uh, the ether kit and uh, our MVVM template is not uh, a dependency, but you can use it with that, or you don't have to use it with that. It's, it's, up, to, it's up to you. So uh, here down is a link on our uh, GitHub of this, uh, of this uh, kit. It's, it's uh, been published last uh, week, but of course feel free to, uh, to, to open any issues or discuss with us anything that, uh, that you would like. We, we still plan to, uh, of course, support it. Uh, what's the result of, uh, of this work? Yesterday we had a, a small hands-on workshop in our office where we demonstrated that uh, we are able to create a new native Swift iOS app that calls functions in the smart contracts under 30 minutes. So that's like really quick start. And uh, we also, on the GitHub, there's an installation guide. And uh, we've also written a blog post uh, where you can see a real step-by-step -step guide uh, how to create the app. This is more for, for example, for the blockchain developers if you are not familiar with iOS. So with this, uh, with this blog post, you are able to build the native app really in 30 minutes if you, uh, if you don't have any, any more other, other, other background. So uh, these are, I think, the promising results that we, that we have. And uh, yeah, you are more than welcome to uh, to use it. And if you had any questions, I have with me uh, my colleague Marek, who has been working on the project as uh, iOS developer. So uh, we can either, I don't know if we have time to discuss it uh, here on stage or then off stage as we will be hanging out here for a while as, as well. So thank you.